increased liver enzymes, tiredness, constipation, and diarrhea. Other side effects include weight gain, decreased sex drive, and erectile function problems. Orgovix may cause infertility. Talk to your doctor if infertility is a concern for you. Go with a Govix. Ask your doctor. For more facts, visit GoWithTheFacts.com. Texting enrolls you into reoccurring automated text messages. Consent not required to purchase. Message and data rates may apply. Hey, Dan, how you doing? Evan, seen you around the gym. Yeah, I've really fallen off. Since I turned 40, I just don't get the results I used to get. Could be lower testosterone. I went through it a while back. I got Nugenix Total T, and it's made a huge difference for me. I've seen that on TV. Is it for real? Oh, yeah. The patented key ingredient is something called Testafin, which helps boost free and total testosterone levels to help you trim up and stay lean. And it's made a difference for you? Man, I feel like I'm in my 20s again. At work, in the gym gym and in the bedroom are they still giving out complimentary bottles for people to try it for themselves yeah you just need to send them a text text judge to 321321 right now for your complimentary bottle of nugenix total tea plus text now and we'll include a bottle of nugenix thermo our most powerful fat incinerator ever to help you get back into shape fast absolutely free text j-u-d-g-e to 321321 that's judge to 321321 products and statements have not been evaluated by the fda these products are not intended to diagnose treat cure or prevent any disease or illness This is your daily Black Health 365 moment. National Healthy Weight Week kicks off annually in January. The goal of this observance is to reinforce healthy eating as a way of life instead of dieting to lose weight. It's also an opportunity to establish healthy relationships with food, a positive body image, and improve healthy habits. You can start slow by changing one thing at a time and find a buddy. Making these changes with someone helps you stay committed. This has been your Black Health 365 update because a healthy lifestyle is a daily choice. Dancing crew, trip for two, nail the final interview. Game with Doug, brand new mug. Come here, kid, give me a hug. The more you want to do, the more we want to do. New COVID-19 boosters designed for recent Omicron variants are now available. Learn about eligibility and schedule a free updated booster today at vaccines.gov. Sponsored by Pfizer and BioNTech. Wendy's homestyle French toast sticks are so delicious, some are saying that they're better than their mom's breakfast. Excuse me, did you just say Wendy's French toast sticks are better than my breakfast? Mom, is that you? Answer the question. I said some people are saying that because they're so crispy on the outside and fluffy on the inside and perfect in every way. Uh Uh-huh. And what do you think? I think it's time to tell people to choose wisely. Choose Wendy's sweet and crispy homestyle French toast sticks. That's still not an answer. At participating U.S. Wendy's during breakfast hours. First Security Bank and Trust Company proudly serves our community and believes we have the responsibility to help it prosper. Bank with people you know and trust right here in our community. First Security Bank and Trust offers customized personal, small business, and commercial financial products and services to meet your specific needs. To discuss your personal or business needs, visit us today at 1541 Northeast 23rd Street or give us a call at 405-424-4341 or visit our website at www.fsbokc.com. First Security Bank and Trust Company, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Every pro is an MVP to us. As a Lowe's MVPs rewards member, you can earn bonus points when you shop select products and brands. Then redeem them for exciting rewards like tools, sports memorabilia, e-gift cards, and more. Join today to become a member and start earning. Bonus points calculated before taxes and fees after applicable discounts, if any. Subject to program terms. While supplies last. Points expired end of calendar year. Visit Lowe's.com slash MVP's bonus points for details. Every Monday, tune in at 6 p.m. for the Metro Tech Oklahoma City Public School Athletics Coaches Show. This great show will give a live, in-depth look at all athletic sports programs at Oklahoma City Public Schools. Hosted by former OU Sooner and Don Marshall Bear standout Michael McDaniel. This show airs live from Chickasaw Bricktown Ballpark in downtown Oklahoma City. Listen on CBS Sports Radio, 105.3, or with our app, streamed by PPBC, and watch on our all-sports YouTube page. It's Oklahoma City Public Schools Athletics Coaches Show, sponsored by Metro Tech, CBS Sports Radio, 105.3, HD1. Be a part of your favorite CBS Sports Show now. Text your comments or opinions to 405-451-8089. That's 405-451-8089. We are CBS Sports Radio. CBS Sports Radio 105.3 HD1.
Welcome back to Friday Night Basketball. I know you can hear in the background the Douglas Marching Band. They are setting the tone for the second half. Kind of a blowout of a first half so far, but that's okay. And a uh, minute 35 until this second half begins. I'm sorry our producer was yelling in my ear, and uh, all we wanted was a chili dog, Dylan. That's all we wanted. You know, he wouldn't even hook us up with a chili dog back in Jinx last year. I know. Year. Can you believe that? We go all the way to Jinx. We asked Bri, hey, can you get us a chili dog, Yeah, bro? come on. Coney Island. Help us out. Gee whiz, gee whiz. No, uh, it's, it's been a blowout the first half. We'll see how the second half goes. I mean, uh, you know, Douglas is going to have their opportunities. They just need to play more efficient basketball. And I'm talking about the Lady Trojans. They're down 45 to 13. They've had some careless turnovers, but the shot hasn't been falling. They've been able to get a few good high percentage shots off. It just hasn't gone their way. And uh, they showcase, they move the ball up the court very well. They can find high percentage shots down low, but Dell City's got quite the front court. Yes. Shelby Thornton has done a really good job defending the paint, yep. getting those offensive rebounds and putback shots for Dell City. Yep. She's made every single shot tough in the paint for the Lady Trojans. No easy buckets. She contests. If she doesn't contest, she'll get a block. So nothing has been easy down low for Douglas, and they've been settling for jumpers, and unfortunately a lot of them have not been falling. And there's been a few three-point shots made by the Lady Trojans. Give a big shout-out to Kamariana Moten, who's hit a couple of them. Yeah. Uh, and you got home, she knocked one down. And she, they're getting to the free throw line. They've just got to be more efficient at making their free throws as well. Um, so stay tuned. Second half about to get this game underway. Third quarter is about to begin. On the floor for the Lady Trojans is number four, Bobby White. Number two, Castanet Jackson. Number three, Camariana Moten. Number 24, Kalia Long, and number zero, Tiana Blackwell. Look, the and Lady Eagles are, are like, where are our coaches at? The coaches are still in the locker room. Oh, that's right. right. Here we go. Here we go. CJ, Mariah, come on, guys. Just got to give them a hard time. I go way back with those, those two coaches right there, Mariah White and CJ Harrison. Well, they're playing really good basketball, and you got to give credit where credit's due. And right now, the Dell City Lady Eagles are – are executing their offense flawlessly right now. So we'll see if Douglas can cut the deficit here in the second half. This broadcast is sponsored by Langston University, Kai's Life Changing Bar, Dick's Sporting Goods, Impressions Printing, the Oklahoma City Dodgers Baseball Foundation, and Perry Publishing and Broadcasting Company. And our title sponsor this evening, is super prep that's right super prep okay on instagram give them a follow if you want to stay up to date on the latest information and the latest content regarding high school sports here in the state of oklahoma high school athletics from all different sports like and arnold it, said do it do it now do it now that's exactly right and if you'd like to watch this game on your cell phone or maybe it's on the computer at the house or your tablet Log on to the All City Sports YouTube page. You'll see the link, Dell City and Douglas. You can watch this game live. We are streaming it right now. We've got people commenting on the broadcast. And if you guys have any questions or comments, we'll definitely acknowledge them over the air. But we're also on the radio here at CBS Sports Radio 105.3 FM. And here come the Dell City Lady Eagles. Get it down to Courtney McCarroll. Puts up the shot, no good. Rebounds her own shot. Now she's going to back up. Throws to her teammate, Rena Lewis. And now they're going to restart their offense. Number five, Makia Claiborne is in the game. Gets it to Shelby Thornton at the top of the key. Then she passes to her teammate. Now finds an open. Rena Lewis down low for the easy bucket. Yep, beautiful cut by Dell City Lady Eagles, and it results in another easy bucket in the paint. They realize 
that the lane is open because Douglas is playing man to man. Not sure why, but that leaves a lot of open buckets down low if you can't keep up with your man. And the, the, the Lady Eagles very athletic. Yeah, right now, Douglas has the basketball. Kalia Long gets it down low to Bobby White trying to find a shot. She's getting double teamed, and we've got a jump ball call. And luckily for Douglas, that points their direction, the possession arrow. Yeah, they need it. They need any little break they can catch right now. Long's going to make the inbound pass for the Lady Trojans. Throws it to the top of the, top of the key to Mariana Moten, and now it gets stolen, and it's going to go out of bounds. It's going to be off the hand of Micaiah Claiborne, the senior guard for Dell City, Douglas Lady Trojan basketball. I'd like to see them get Holmes involved, get her an open look, because she has a great shot, just needs an open look. Mariana Holmes is going to take it coast to coast, but it gets swatted down by Shelby Thornton, the yeah. six-foot-three post player for the Dell City Lady Eagles. Douglas will retain possession, but it's tough to get a shot down low when it she's is. in the paint. She's made her presence known all night tonight. Thornton, she is really good. Long completes the pass to Tiona Blackwell, puts up the shot no good. Rebound to Carroll at Dell City. Here come the Lady Eagles, pushing it up the court, gets the layup, and can't get it to fall, but Shelby Thornton gets the rebound and the putback for an easy two. Dell City's up 49-13 on top of the Douglas Lady Trojans. That's at least her fifth offensive board for the putback of the night, if Mariana, not more. Mariana Holmes finds a open teammate down low for the bucket, gets it to Tiana Blackwell, the senior, made the right cut to get open, found the basketball, and got the easy high percentage shot. Now Blackwell's all over Courtney McCarroll right now, trying to D up, and McCarroll says, I'll just take it myself. It gets the wide open layup for the bucket. Yeah, she's good when she gets her head downhill. She knows how to get open and create separation from the defender and finish. Siona Blackwell for the Lady Trojans is going to bring the ball up court. The score is 51 to 15. Dell City Lady Eagles with the lead, and Douglas then turns the ball over. Ball goes out of bounds, so it'll be Dell City Lady Eagle basketball with a significant lead with five and a half to play in the third quarter. Here's Rena Lewis who tried to get the ball down low and she got called for the double dribble. Yep, because Moten got her hand on the ball and created that turnover. Great D by Moten, number three. Here comes Mariana, ha Mar Mariana Holmes, the sophomore guard for Douglas. She has some of the best handles on the team. She goes right, kicks it to Blackwell for the jump shot, no good. Rebounded Dell City. Here come the Lady Eagles, number 11. Akila Howard with the basketball. Tries to give the ball to her teammate, Shelby Thornton. It goes out of bounds. It's going to be a Lady Trojan basketball. There's another pass down there with a lot of zip on it. Instead of just lobbing it up to Thornton, she slings it with some zip, and it's a turnover. Here comes Mariana Holmes, bringing the ball up court. Gets to half court. No press by Dell City, no need to. They've got a significant lead. Here comes Mariana Holmes, she goes left. Turns around, puts up the jumper and it gets swatted. Shelby Thornton, That's a hard block in yeah. the stands. Yeah, honestly it kind of sounded like a volleyball spike. It had a loud noise to that block. It certainly did. So here come Douglas, they'll retain the basketball. Gets it over to Blackwell. Jump shot at the free throw line, no good. Rebounded Keela Howard of Dell City. They get it across half court. They're taking their time. They're up 51 to 15. And now they get it down low to Rihanna, Rena Lewis, who gets the easy put. Well, shot off the glass, let me say it like that. I tell you what, we've got one heck of a producer in Bryce Sean. We want to give him his credit uh, where credit's due for bringing us chili dogs. I tell you what, what, what a heck of a guy. Got to love Bryce Sean. That's, That's a right. good dude. That's He's a right. real one. 429 left in the third quarter. We're going to take a 30-second break. We've got a timeout here on the floor. Dell City's up 53-15. to We'll be right back for the rest of this third quarter here on CBS Sports Radio, 105.3 FM, HD1. 
Star Tony Romo for Skechers Max Cushioning Footwear. You know when you go to your kid's game and you have to sit on those uncomfortable, super hard bleachers? That's how I feel now when I wear regular shoes. Why? Because once I started wearing Skechers Max Cushioning, I've been spoiled with how amazing extra cushioning feels. Skechers maxed out the cushioning with a thick, comfy slice of super light, ultra go cushioning for a soft, pillowy feel with every step. See all the fashionable styles of Max Cushioning at the Skechers store, Skechers.com, or wherever stylish footwear is sold. Kansas City Chiefs football is here. KINB 105.3 FM HD1. Kingfisher, Oklahoma City. A Perry Broadcasting Station. Welcome back to Friday Night Basketball here live from Douglas Gymnasium here in the heart of Oklahoma City. We are right in the middle of the girls' basketball team, and they're taking on the Dell City Eagles. Dell City Lady Eagles are up 53-15 to with about four minutes to play in the third quarter. Here's Shelby Thornton. Nice dish to her teammate, Akilah Howard, on the block for the easy bucket to increase their lead. They're up 55-15 to with 3.50 left to play in the third quarter. Great steal and great assist by Thornton. She can do it all. She can score. She can pass and defend. And we've got a reach and foul called on Dell City. So that'll be on the floor. The Douglas will inbound the pass to Tiona Blackwell. Blackwell goes right, bounces off her foot into the hands of Courtney McCarroll, the freshman guard for Dell City. She throws to her teammate Howard at the top of the key. Howard finds Shelby Thornton who throws it into the corner. Three point attempt, no good. Rebounded, Rena Lewis, and now it gets stolen by Tiana Blackwell. Two on two, she pulls up for the jump shot and got it. A much needed bucket for the Douglas Lady Trojans. She is very efficient from the mid range. When she can get an open shot from mid range, more times than not, she's going to knock it down, and she did just that. Here come Dell City. McCarroll drives it, puts up the jump shot, got it. Right there at the free throw line, that's about the distance you'd like to take for majority of your jump shots. Oh, yeah, no doubt. And you know what's so special about McCarroll? Like you mentioned earlier, she is only a freshman. She isn't playing like it. Kalia Long had the ball on the block for Douglas, turned around, got the shot off, but didn't go in, and she is fouled by Shelby Thornton. And there's going to be some substitutions for both teams. So Kalia Long will have a, an opportunity to shoot two here for Douglas. Here's the first attempt, and in and out. They've really struggled to shoot the free throw this evening, Dylan. It has been a rough night from the free throw line for the Lady Trojans. We've got a substitution here. Now they are playing a team that's in a bigger class, so they won't have to face these Lady Eagles come tournament time. And here is the second free throw attempt. No good. Rebounded. Shelby Thornton, who is only a sophomore yeah. for, for Dell City. A lot of young talent on this Lady Eagles Kaya team. Kaya Claiborne with the ball. She's going to drive the lane. Thought about taking the jump shot. Back, it backs up. Hands off to her teammate. Puts up the jump shot. No good. Rebounded Douglas. And now it's stolen back. That's stolen back by number 12, Mackenzie Chambers who then turns it back over to Carroll, and Dell City's going to operate their half-court offense. Direct in traffic here, Shelby Thornton throws it down low to the block, gets the shot, Micaiah Claiborne, and gets fouled in the process, and one, Dell City. Everything is going right for the Lady Eagles tonight. We'll see if she can knock down that extra free throw, finish that old-school three-point play. That is number five, Claiborne. Minute 52 left in the third quarter. Trying to get to that 60-point mark. Here's the first shot. No good. Offensive rebound by Dell City. Courtney McCarroll is going to restart that offense, and we've got a stoppage a violation Oh, okay. The free throw. That was kind of a like. late move there. Okay, never mind. Something else happened, and they're going to take it out from the baseline. I guess we missed something there. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly why that's playing out the way it is. What doesn't have much impact on the it does not. 
difference here in the score. Dell City throws it to McCarroll at the top of the key. She's going to direct traffic. Mariana Holmes is guarding her. And McCarroll drives left and loses control, and it's stolen. And now it's a loose ball. Nobody can get possession. It was last touched by the Douglas Lady Trojans. So it'll be Dell City basketball. Here comes the Lady Eagles. Throws into Rena Lewis. Rena gets it to Shelby Thornton. Down low to McCarroll. Puts up the shot. She's fouled. Bobby White is called for the foul on Courtney McCarroll. McCarroll will go to the free throw line. Yeah, Lady Eagles just putting this Douglas Lady Trojans defense in some tough spots. A lot of passing, a lot of ball movement, a lot of cuts. And now they're at the free throw line once again. That's the freshman, McCarroll, knocks down the first. The freshman left-hander. And I just noticed Dell City, they only have one senior on their whole squad. That's number five, Claiborne. A lot of young talent, a lot of promise for this Lady Eagles team. And here's McCarroll's second free throw. No good. Rebounded Douglas. Bobby White bringing it up court. Now she's getting defended by Carroll. Bobby White gets it to Camariana Moten, who drives the length of the court. Gets stuck at the, at the block, tries to give it up. It's stolen by Rena Lewis of Dell City. 36 seconds left in the third quarter. Here's number 12, Mackenzie Chambers. Now it gets it to Taisha Walker. Back to Rena Lewis. And it gets stolen by Jackson of Douglas. Here come the Lady Trojans. Puts up the layup. No good. Rebounded Dell City. Gets it back to Rena Lewis, who has to get it past half court here. Time isn't on their side here. Wow, what ball movement by Dell City. It makes a huge difference. When you move the ball that quick, that is so tough for a defense to adapt to. Easy bucket for the Lady Eagles, and that's going to bring the bring an end to the third quarter. The score is Dell City Lady Eagles 62, Douglas Lady Trojans 17. We're going to take a 30-second timeout. We'll come back and get this fourth quarter underway. Make sure to tune into the streaming broadcast of this game. You can watch this game on your cellular phone, on your tablet, on your computer. Log on to the All City Sports YouTube page right now and you can watch this game or you can just continue listening to it on CBS Sports Radio 105.3 FM HD1. Our title sponsor for this broadcast is Super Prep. Super Prep OK on Instagram. Make sure you give them a follow to stay in the know on the most updated high school athletic content in the state of Oklahoma. We'll be right back in 30 seconds at CBS Sports Radio 105.3 FM HD1. It's game day at Jim's house, and the spread is impressive. Mike's already done some damage with the hot wings, and now he's dropping back and going deep for another slice of pizza. I sure hope he brought the Pepto. Mike knows the Pepto-Bismol provides fast five-symptom relief from unexpected stomach upsets. He's no rookie. <laughs> the way he's throwing back those nachos, he's the GOAT. Be ready for game day with Pepto-Bismol. When you have nausea, heartburn, indigestion, upset stomach, diarrhea. Use as directed, keep out of reach of children. And we're back. The fourth quarter is underway, and the Lady Trojans will have the basketball. And Jackson gets it over to Mariana Holmes, who has to restart the half-court offense. She comes off a screen, wide open three-point attempt, no good. Rebounded Dell City. It's been all Dell City Lady Eagles, and they're going to get another shot attempt. It's missed. Rebounded Douglas here. Mariana Holmes, three-point shot, no good. And a rebound by Kalia Long of Douglas. Trying to get the two-point put back. Doesn't get it. Dell City with the basketball. Rena Elias moves the ball up the floor. Number 14, Danielle Cox is in the game, and she gets it back to Rena Lewis, who then gives it to number one, Tisha Walker. Puts up the shot, no good. Rebounded Douglas. 
And mm. we've got one too many steps. Yep, that's Bobby taken White. Taken by Bobby White, so that'll be a turnover. Yep. Dell City Lady Eagle basketball. Dell City's going to let some of their uh, young players get some playing time. All the starters are going to relax on the bench. They got a pretty comfortable lead. See what they can do. Now, here in a couple of years, you're going to have a, a senior. Whoa, nice steal by Douglas, but somehow it's stolen back by Taisha Walker, and she's going to take it coast to coast. Gets the bucket to get to the 66 mark. They're up 66 to 17. Dell City stole the ball and gets another easy bucket down low. Wow, I didn't even realize that happened. They're up to 68 to 17. Right now it's all Dell City. They're on a run. Here's number 12 with the layup. Got it. That's McKenzie Chambers, the junior guard, and Douglas has to call a timeout to stop the bleeding. Instant impact by Chambers. She's the one that also got that steal and then the quick bucket. And then on the other end, they're running and gunning, two on one fast break and she finishes. Instant impact. Dell City runs a very fast, quick pace offense. They're able to push the ball up the court at an incredible pace and they've scored a lot of points in transition this evening. And that's one of several reasons why we see such a difference in points right now. Uh, you know, unfortunately for Douglas, they, the, the Lady Trojans have been giving up too many yep. easy, careless uh, offensive turnovers. They haven't been able to hit the shots that they've really, that they're used to hitting. It's been really difficult to get uh, an open shot there at the block down low. So they've been trying to shoot the outside shots and it's just been extremely difficult. It has. So here come the Douglas Lady Trojans. They're going to try and get the ball to Kalia Long and then gets it stolen by Dell City. Throws over to Tiasia Walker, finds an open pass to a teammate with a shot. No, no, uh, no bucket in. Oh my goodness, Kalia Long is doing whatever she can to get that basketball back, and she slid hard on the court. She that did. sounded painful. It did. I hope she's all right, because they're going to need her going down the stretch of this season. Yeah, she's, she's she's in some pain right now, and they're going to call for the trainer to come over and check her out. I'm sure she'll be okay, but that just sounded, you know, when you drag your, you know, it's almost like a carpet burn, but it's mm -hmm. on the hardwood floor. It does not feel good. So that is very painful. And she's frustrated because, you know, the score the way it is. They're not performing to their standard of basketball right now. And um, But I will say this, the Douglas Lady Trojans don't give up. Um, what Jayla Rose, you know, instills in these young ladies is no, don't even look at the score. Just keep playing as hard as you can, possession by possession. You can't change what's already happened. That's right. It's all about doing what you can going forward. Um, and, yeah, the, the, there's a huge difference in the score, but they're right there on par with everybody else in regarding effort and, and you know, Playing as hard as you can. That's Dylan. right. I mean, they're giving their coach everything they got. The score doesn't show it, but the effort does. And they just got to try, you know, they're not going to come back and win this game, but do whatever you can to get better. Get something out of this game that is positive. Absolutely. 528 left in the fourth quarter. Following this game will be the highly coveted boys game. The one that has been talked about on social media for months and yes. months. And the chatter has increased leading up to tip off. Hey, here's stolen by Castanet Cast Jackson. It's stolen back. And what a block by Bobby White. But she's going to get called for a foul. Looked and like a clean block from up here. But uh, the refs got a lot better look than we do down there on the court. Going to be a foul on Bobby White. And that's, uh, I believe, is Malia Purifoy. Puts up the free throw attempt and got it. That is Malia, right? Number zero. It looks like it. her hair is blocking the jersey on the backside. Here's the second free throw missed, and Douglas gets the rebound. Zamari Wright gets it over to Mariana Holmes. She pushes it up the floor. She's going to go coast to coast, kicks it out to her teammate Jackson on the wing. Jackson puts up the shot. No good. Rebound to Tasia Walker of Dale City. Here comes 
the Dell City Lady Eagles. Number 12, Mackenzie Chambers. Oh, and now it gets stolen by Douglas. Here we go. They're going to reset their offense here. Now it gets stolen from behind by Tasia Walker. And she regains possession. And now she's got to get through Jackson's defense right now. And throws back to Mackenzie Chambers on the wing. He's going to restart. Now she'll go right down towards the block, trying to get it to her teammate, Malia Purifoy. Purifoy gets it to... Number Walker. one, Walker. <laughs> Puts up the jump shot off the glass. It's good, 73 to 17. Yeah, very unorthodox shot by Walker, but nonetheless, it falls. Bobby White put up the shot, went baseline. She didn't make it, but she is fouled in the process. So she will go to the line, and Douglas will have an opportunity, some much needed two points here. Yeah, no doubt about it. You know, just do what you can. Bobby White, you're a senior. Show that, knock these free throw down. And she does just that, knocks the first down. Makes the first one. Four now minutes. Douglas, they have a lot of young promise as well. Mariana Holmes, she's only a sophomore. Moten, the lefty sniper, she's only a sophomore. Amari Ratliff, who's very talented. She's also a sophomore as well. Kalia Long is a junior. So they'll be returning uh, pretty much Three out of the, uh, three out of the yeah, five starters. Yeah, Tiona Blackwell and, and Bobby White are both seniors for the, the Douglas Lady Trojans. And so, you know, they, it, it, it will hurt to, to lose them because they've been just tremendous leaders for this basketball team. And, and they've been relied upon heavily. They have. They, they've played a, a major part in this basketball program for several years now. Um, but they're trying to make their teammates better. And they're going to learn a few things tonight on what they can improve on. They've got to clean up the offensive turnovers. Got to figure out how to rebound better, get back in transition, and hit your free throws. I think Absolutely. if you can improve on those areas, you will improve. And like I mentioned earlier, Douglas is in 4A, Dell City's in 5A. So they won't have to see Dell City down the stretch come tournament time. So Douglas is going to get the ball back with three minutes and 20 seconds left in the fourth quarter. The Dell City Lady Eagles are up 73-19. to 19. And Douglas is just trying to put more points on the board just to cut this deficit a little bit. Here's Mariana Holmes. She don't quit. Through the legs, left and right, cuts left, gives it to Mariana Moten who puts up the left-handed shot. No good. She's fouled, and she'll go to the line. She's a Am I right about that? Yes, she got fouled. Young sophomore, like we talked about earlier. She got a lot of promise. In my opinion, she is the best shooter on this squad, left-handed. Hopefully, she can knock down these free throws. And she gets the first. That's Moten. She didn't get to play in their last game that we covered against Southeast, so she recovered from that injury. That's some good news for her head coach. And she shoots the left-handed free throw shot. Got it to go. Here come Dell City Lady Eagles. They've got a significant lead. 240 left in the fourth quarter. They're moving it around. Gets it to Walker on the run. No good the shot on the shot. Offensive rebound, no good. And another offensive rebound by Dell City. And finally, Zamari Wright is fighting. To get that rebound, they call a jump ball, and the possession arrow goes to Douglas. There you go. Good hustle play by the Lady Trojans. Still fighting, still battling. They're going to bring the ball up the court, gets to half court. Mariana Holmes is assessing the defense, throws over to Moten on the wing. Moten dribbles left, hands it back to Holmes. Holmes goes left, now right. Calling for her teammates to come set a screen. Gets, a, gets off the screen from Bobby White. Just kind of dribbling back and forth. Now she's going to attack and loses the control of the basketball. Has to throw it to her teammate, Mariana Moten, who throws to Bobby White. Bobby White drives baseline. Left hand off the glass. It's good. That's exactly what the Lady Trojans of Douglas needed. Yes, Bobby White, great execution. Getting downhill, finishing with your off leg. Left hand, nice. 
Feel free to comment on our YouTube stream. We will see it. We've got a computer screen in front of us. We'll answer any questions or address any comments made on the All City Sports YouTube stream. We're broadcasting tonight's high school basketball game between Douglas and Dell City. The boys game will start soon after this one ends. Here's Dell City, Lady Eagles gets it down low for the bucket to number 15, Dorea Collier, the sophomore forward for Dell City. They're up 75 to 23 right now. Here's Bobby White with the shot, no good. Douglas gets the offensive rebound. Ball ends up going out of bounds. It's off Tasia Walker of Dale City. 51 seconds left in the fourth quarter. There is no quit regarding this Douglas Lady Trojan basketball team. They're very resilient. Scores not what they wanted it to be, but you've got to be impressed with their effort. Here's Bobby White puts up the shot. No good. She'll get fouled. She'll go to the free throw line with 38 seconds left in the game. Overall thoughts and opinions on, on this game, Dylan, or just your thoughts on Dell City and Douglas? Dell City, very well coached. A lot of great ball movement. They run and gun. They play great defense, get steals. Very impressive performance by a young Dell City Lady Eagles basketball team, and they're well coached. I mean, their coach I went to high school with, she's a former D1 athlete at Kansas State University, so she knows what it takes to get to the next level and how things need to be done. Well, she's gotten this Dell City basketball team playing some really good basketball here today. They've completely dominated this game. They're up 50 points, 75 to 25 right now on the Douglas Lady Trojans. So just to finish out this game, Dale, Dale City's going to has the ball. They're going to try and inbound it and get another bucket. Tasia Walker puts it up. No good. Rebounded by Dell City. It's a jump ball. Possession arrow points to Dell City, so they'll retain possession. Even though they're up 50, they're still trying they're to score, Dell. Yeah, there's no quitting them. They're not just dribbling the ball and letting the clock run. They're trying to get more buckets. Let's so see now what they they're going to. They're going to. Now train. they might. Nine seconds out. left. Tasia Walker with the ball. Look at Holmes Dribbles trying left. to get the steal. Actually, that's number 14, Danielle Cox, and she gets it to Walker, and they're going to hold on to it. And that's the final score. The game is over. The Dell City Lady Eagles have won 75 to 25 on the Douglas Lady Trojans. Okay, Dylan, we're gonna take a few minutes, maybe about five, six minute commercial break. And when we come back, we'll announce the starting lineup for the boys game. This is a game that everyone is anticipating. It's been circled on the calendars. It's been talked about on social media. And we're going to broadcast it in its entirety tonight on CBS Sports Radio 105.3 FM in the All City Sports YouTube page. I know you've got YouTube as a cell phone application. Get on there, search for All City Sports. You'll see the link for the Dell City Douglas basketball game. Click on it. You'll be able to watch the game in its entirety on your cell phone, on your tablet, on your computer, or you can link it to your TV. Anything's possible in 2023. That's right. I'm your play-by-play -play announcer, Jay Swick. That's Dylan Trouble to my right. The highly anticipated boys basketball game is coming up next. We're live from Douglas Gymnasium. We'll be back shortly. This whole broadcast is sponsored by Super Prep OK on Instagram. Give them a follow. We'll be right back here in a few minutes to get this game underway. CBS Sports Radio 105.3 FM HD1. Oklahoma City, I'm Miles Perry, and I want you to listen to my show, Super Prep Live. Super Prep Live takes an in-depth look at the Oklahoma high school student athlete and what makes he or she become great at what they do. Super Prep Live can be heard on OKC's CBS Sports Radio 105.3 and Instagram Live. Make sure you tune in and learn about the next great student athlete on Super Prep Live with me, Miles Perry. <laughs> Thank you. 
and improve healthy habits. You can start slow by changing one thing at a time and find a buddy. Making these changes with someone helps you stay committed. This has been your Black Health 365 update because a healthy lifestyle is a daily choice. Dancing crew, trip for two, nail the final interview. Game with Doug, brand new mug. Come here, kid. <laughs> Give me a hug. The more you want to do, the more we want to do. New COVID-19 boosters designed for recent Omicron variants are now available. Learn about eligibility and schedule a free updated booster today at vaccines.gov. Sponsored by Pfizer and BioNTech. Periods don't care what you're doing. But your pad should. Get Always Triple Protection System in Always Day and Night Pads. Always Day Pads protect us when we're active with their rapid dry, odor lock, and leak guard technologies that wick away gushes 90% faster than the leading store brand and gives us up to 100% leak-free and odor-free comfort. Then by sizing up our pad at night, we get the same triple protection plus up to 75% more coverage in the back from when we're laying down. No matter what, Always has you covered day and and night. This is an important notice to consumers facing $10,000 or more in credit card debt, medical bills, or other unsecured debt. You may not be required to pay it all back because there are special programs now in effect that will significantly reduce the amount you will owe if you qualify. This is not bankruptcy or a debt consolidation loan. These programs, which the credit card companies like to keep secret, exist to aid American consumers struggling with overwhelming credit card debt by offering tremendous savings and real debt relief. Accredited Debt Relief has established a special hotline for you to call and learn what savings you qualify for. They've helped qualify consumers with over a billion dollars in debt and are A-plus rated with the Better Business Bureau. So don't wait. Get the relief you need during these hard economic times. For this free information, call the Accredited Debt Relief Hotline now. Call 800-640-0077. 800-640-0077. That's 800-640-0077. This is an important notice to consumers facing $10,000 or more in credit card debt, medical bills, or other unsecured debt. You may not be required to pay it all back because there are special programs now in effect that will significantly reduce the amount you will owe if you qualify. This is not bankruptcy or a debt consolidation loan. These programs, which the credit card companies like to keep secret, exist to aid American consumers struggling with overwhelming credit card debt by offering tremendous savings and real debt relief. Accredited Debt Relief has established a special hotline for you to call and learn what savings you qualify for. They've helped qualify consumers with over a billion dollars in debt and are A-plus rated with the Better Business Bureau. So don't wait. Get the relief you need during these hard economic times. For this free information, call the Accredited Debt Relief Hotline now. Call 800-640-0077. 800-640-0077. That's 800-640-0077. It's game day at Jim's house, and the spread is impressive. Mike's already done some damage with the hot wings, and now he's dropping back and going deep for another slice of pizza. I sure hope he brought the Pepto. Mike knows the Pepto-Bismol provides fast, five-symptom relief from unexpected stomach upsets. He's no rookie. <laughs> the way he's throwing back those nachos, he's the GOAT. Be ready for game day with Pepto-Bismol. When you have nausea, heartburn, indigestion, upset stomach, diarrhea. Use as directed, keep out of reach of children. My brother-in-law died suddenly, and now my sister and her kids have to sell their home. That's why I told my husband we could not put off getting life insurance any longer. An agent offered us a 10-year, $500,000 policy for nearly $50 a month. Then we called SelectQuote. SelectQuote found us identical coverage for only $19 a month, a savings of $369 a year. Whether you need a $500,000 policy or a $5 million policy, Select Quote could save you more than 50% on term life insurance. For your free quote, call Select Quote at 1 800 504 4747. That's 1 800 504 4747. Or go to SelectQuote.com. 1 800 504 4747. That's 1 800 504 4747. Select Quote. We shop. You save. Full details on example policies at selectquote.com slash commercials. Mm. 
Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the high school game of the week here on CBS Sports Radio 105.3 FM HD1. We are also broadcasting live on the All City Sports YouTube page. You can watch this game in its entirety on your cell phone, on your tablet, on your computer, any kind of mobile device. And we are excited to give you the high school game of the week. This is one of the more highly anticipated basketball games in the state of Oklahoma, maybe all year long. We've got a force on both sides of the floor coming in. Ranked number two in Class 5A West is the Dell City Eagles, led by McDonald's All-American Brandon Garrison. On the Dell City, I'm sorry, on the Douglas side, we have number three ranked Douglas Trojans in Class 4A. They might be the most talented basketball team in the state of Oklahoma. At, ranking them out of any class. Yes, we saw them beat a 6A team from the state of Texas. And we are going to see a clash of the Titans tonight with Dell City taking on Douglas. We are broadcasting live from the Douglas High School Gymnasium here in the heart of Oklahoma City. We've had a lot of calls. We've had a lot of conversation of how this game is going to play out. Both teams match up tremendously well against each other. On paper, I don't know if you're going to get a better basketball game, Dylan. I agree with you on that. 100%. What are your thoughts? What are some things that you're really excited about when well, looking at this basketball game tonight? As most people know, there's a lot of tension in this room. So if you don't know the story, one of Douglas's stars, Terry McMorris, he's a former Dell City Eagle. He was on their state championship team from two years ago. He makes a change, comes to Douglas. Douglas is one of the top teams in the state now. He's playing his old squad. So neither one of these teams want to lose. That's a lot of bragging rights on the line. And they're very familiar with each other. Very familiar. Obviously, Terry McMorris is going to play a major impact. It will have a major impact in the game for Douglas. He knows this Dell City basketball team very well. And yes, guess what? Does. They know him. That's right. Now, Terry McMorris has teamed up with Douglas, and Douglas is loaded as well. They've got a lot of really talented players uh, alongside Terry McMorris, and yep. I want to highlight a few of them. First of all, Devon Scott is one of the hottest three-point shooters. Sniper in the state. He's really, really talented. Landry Ballard Jr. is a player that will, he might be the fastest player on the court with the basketball in his hands. He's got superior ball handling skills and he is tremendously fast. Also, Jace Breath, a six foot six senior for Douglas. He's gonna have a major impact on this game. And it's gonna be Terry McMorris, Jace Breath against Brandon Garrison for Dell City. And the big kid from Dell City that's going to play football at OSU, Jaden Foreman. He's 6'5". That's right. So it's like a battle of the Twin Towers for both teams. That's exactly right. This team, they, These teams match up really well against each other. And I'm excited to see how this plays out. Dell City has a senior uh, leading team. They, they have do. a lot of seniors that have played a lot of basketball together. Yep and that's one of the reasons that makes them such a cohesive unit is the chemistry is, so, is strong. Now, Douglas, you can say the same thing. I mean, they, they are a very deep team with players like Corey Holman, uh, Jaden Williams. You've also got Andres, Mor Andres Morales. James Greenhower. Uh, Caleb Moore is gonna come off the bench and play a key part for the Douglas Trojans. It's an overall Great matchup tonight, and we've got two really res highly respected coaches with Lenny Hatchett for Dell City and Steven Alexander for Douglas. We are excited to see how this plays out. We are minutes away from tip-off. They're about to announce the starting lineup for both teams. 
We'll give you that information as it comes. But, again, there has been a lot of chatter on social media between the two fan bases. And this gym is packed out. They are ready to watch this game get underway. A lot of fans representing both schools. Yep. And we will most certainly be seeing both teams you know, make a run at a state ch- at a state championship in their respective class. That's right. Dell City's 5A, Douglas is 4A, and so you're able to get matchups like these. You know, they're much easier to schedule than than you would in, in a football game. That's right, 100 percent correct. So that's going to be fun to watch, and we're uh, we're going to be getting the starting lineups here shortly as soon as the uh, announcers are prepared to do do that. Uh, I want to give a big shout-out to our sponsors. Our title sponsor for this broadcast is Super Prep. That's right, Super Prep OK on Instagram. If you want the latest content regarding high school athletics, you need to keep up with it. There are so many talented players out there, and Super Prep does a great job giving them the recognition they deserve. You'll get the latest news who's committed, where to play collegiately, who's got a scholarship offer, who had a big game last night, what are some of the big games coming up. Super Prep does a great job providing you with that information and just keeping you in the know regarding high school sports here in the state of Oklahoma. They are our title sponsor. Give them a follow on Instagram, Super Prep OK. Also sponsoring this broadcast tonight, Langston University. Kai's Life-Changing Bar, Dick's Sporting Goods, Impressions Printing, Oklahoma City Dodgers Baseball Foundation, and Perry Publishing and Broadcasting Company. I'm your play-by-play commentator, Jay Swick. To my right is our color commentator, Dylan Tribble. And they are announcing the starting lineups right now. And Jace Breath will be starting for Douglas. Landry Ballard Jr. will be starting for Douglas. Terry McMorris will be starting for Douglas. Jaden Williams will be starting for Douglas as well as Devon Scott, the sophomore forward, who is a three-point threat on any on any part of the floor. No doubt. To be honest. Unlimited range for sure. So Dell City starting five, you got number four, Demarius Vili, number 10, the McDonald's All-American, Brandon Garrison, number 12, Jamari McAllister, number 22, Piercy Green, and the OSU football commit, Jaden Foreman, number 23. And we are seconds away from tip off. We don't know how this is gonna play out, but we know it's, it's gonna, gonna be, be a ex- movie. It's <laughs> gonna be a movie, exactly. It's gonna be exciting to watch, and we wanna thank you for tuning in on the All City Sports YouTube Page and CBS Sports Radio, 105.3 FM HD1. Terry McMorris and Brandon Garrison going to go for the jump ball. Let's get this thing started. It's Friday Night Basketball, and Douglas gets the tip in. They will start out with the first possession of this game. Ballard to Williams at the wing. He's got to get through this zone defense. Well, it's really more of a man-to-man now. And Landry Ballard moving the ball to Devon Scott for a three-point attempt. No good. Bounces to the back of the backboard, so that'll be Dell City basketball. Great ball movement, though, by the Douglas Trojans. They got him an open look. That was Scott. Just couldn't knock it down. We'll see what Dell City can do. Here come the Eagles. Demarius Veely with the basketball. Throws over to Brandon Garrison for three. No good. Rebounded Terry McMorris and Douglas. McMorris bringing in the ball up the court. He knows this team well. He drives the length of the floor, puts up the shot. It's blocked, and then the offensive rebound by Jace Breath. Doesn't get the put back. Dale City gets the rebound. Here come the Eagles. Corner, Percy Green for three, no good. Ball's going out of bounds, and it's going to be off. It's off McMorris. He had the ball and ended up falling out of bounds, so Dale City's going to retain the possession. Early first quarter, seven minutes. Left in the first quarter, 0-0 ball game. Stifling defense. Here's Vili for three, no good. In and out. Landry Ballard to Douglas with the rebound, brings it up the court. 
Right there on the wing, throws to Terry McMorris. Fakes right, goes left, spins, kicks it out to his teammate, but gets called for the travel. And that's all because of the great defense by Jaden Foreman, number 23 for Dell City. No points on the board so far. We're still at zeros. And here come the Dell City Eagles. Demarius Veles played point guard for this team for three, four years now. Kicks it to Percy Green now, back to Foreman. Foreman to number 12, Jamari McAllister. Here we go, Percy Green for three again, no good, and they're fighting for the offensive rebound. They get it. Percy Green gets the Euro step and draws first blood. That Euro was elite. Goes around the defender, hits him with the floater. First points on the, the board go to the Dell City Eagles, 2-0. Douglas brought the ball up court really quickly. Landry Ballard made the pass from, you know, or passed McAllister. McAllister gets called for the reach in foul. So Jace Breath will inbound the pass for Douglas, gets it to Terry McMorris, hands it over to Landry Ballard. Almost got caught with the half court. He's trying to drive past McAllister, puts up the jump shot. And got it! One. Got fouled in the process. Just what the doctor ordered for the Douglas Trojans. Landry Ballard Jr. is going to the free throw line. Tough shot by Ballard because McAllister had his hand all in Ballard's face. Nonetheless, Ballard knocks it down and he's at the free throw line for one shot. Could take the lead if he makes it. And he does not. We'll see how important free throws are in this game. We won't find out till down the stretch. Percy Green on the wing for Dell City. Throws over to McAllister at the top of the key. He drives, kicks it back to the corner, now back to Veely. Brandon Garrison, the six foot nine McDonald's All-American at the high post with the basketball. Hands off to Percy Green. Green goes right, loses it, gets it to Foreman on the corner. Now down low to Garrison. Left hand off the glass, no good. Garrison gets the offensive rebound, passes to Percy Green for the jump shot. No good, and they're still fighting for the rebound, and Dell City gets it. Douglas is playing great defense, just can't come up with the rebound, and it hurts him. Jaden Foreman knocks down a three for Dell City. Dell City's up 5-2. to two. Here comes Douglas. Landry Ballard directing traffic. He's the starting point guard. Calling out the play, telling his teammates where to go. Dell City's applying the man-to-man -man defense right now. Five minutes left in the first quarter. Dell City's up five to two. Douglas with the basketball. Here's Scott, kicks it to McMorris. He drives, puts up the shot, no good, and gets his own rebound and put back. They get the bucket, it's four five. A put back by McMorris over Dell City Twin Towers. And there's a travel on Garrison. Happy Feet got him with that one. Great defensive presence by McMorris. Brandon Garrison saw an opening in the lane and just got Happy Feet. Yes and got called for the travel. So that gives Douglas an opportunity. They're down one. And here comes Jaden Williams. Jaden Williams for three, got it! Knocked down, three for Jaden Williams. Hit up the defender with the pump fake. Goes around him, knocked down. Douglas takes the lead by two. They're up seven to five, 424 left in the first. Dell City with the basketball. Got it down low to the McDonald's All-American. Kicks it out to Jamori McAllister. Now he gives it to Foreman. Foreman puts up the shot. It's blocked by Chase Breath and Douglas. Dell City gets the ball back, shoots the three-point shot, doesn't get it. Here come the Douglas Trojans. Landry Ballard pushing it up the floor, dribbling. Left and right, passes to Terry McMorris at the top of the key. He's guarded by Brandon Garrison. This is the matchup they all want to see. McMorris hands it off to Ballard. Ballard trying to find some room to get closer to the basket to take a high percentage shot. McMorris on the, on the corner gets double teamed. He's fighting through Demarius Beely, and ball goes out of bounds. They're going to say it's off the hands of Terry McMorris. It's Dell City basketball, and their fan base is going wild. Yeah, great double team by Dell City. McAllister was all over him, creates that turnover. Here's Demarius Veely, gives it to Jamori McAllister. No, but yeah, McAllister's gonna call out the play. He's directing traffic right now. He's got Jaden Williams right in front of him. Here's McAllister, finds room, puts up the layup, no good. 
And we have a foul call. It's going to be a foul. It's an offensive foul on McAllister. Wow. So that's going to give Douglas the basketball. Tie ball game right now, 7-7. Seven to seven. We expected this. We knew it would be aggressive. Everyone on the court is extremely athletic. Landry Ballard with the jump shot got it to fall. That's his shot. Mid-range money ball, elevate, knockdown, Landry Ballard. Douglas Trojans up by two, nine to seven with three minutes left in the first. Here's Brandon Garrison, the six foot nine. Post player put up the shot, no good. Rebounded Terry McMorris to Douglas. He pushes it up the court and he's just gonna take it himself. Can't get the ball to fall. But Jace Breath of Douglas gets the rebound and gets tied up with Dell City. They're going to call a jump ball. No, it, I think it's going to be a foul on Dell City. I don't see two thumbs, just one fist in the air. Oh, now he calls a jump ball. Yeah, that was so the, the jump ball it. was the right call, and that's our good buddy, Mr. Doolittle, who comes on CBS Sports Radio all the time. And he made the correct call on that play. We talked to him before the game, and he's expecting a, you know, both teams to give it all they got. Yep. Bragging rights is at stake. And like we said, there's been a lot of chatter on social media. And that's why we're probably seeing a lot of people here in the gym tonight. People are still filing in this gym. Dell City with the basketball down two, nine to seven. Jamori McAllister gets it to... Garrison back to McAllister. And we've got a timeout. No? I'm not sure what the stoppage is for. I'm not sure either. So they're going to take, uh, oh, I think there was some blood from Williams. They're taking him back to get worked on, get that cleaned up. That's number four, I mean, number three for Douglas. Jaden Williams got banged up. And James Greenhoward is in the game for the Douglas Trojans. So they're just going to call a timeout here right now. We're going to take a real quick timeout ourselves, a 30-second one. Scores 9-7. to seven. Douglas with a two-point lead on Dell City. We'll be right back. CBS Sports Radio, 105.3 FM HD1. Ray Maliazzi here for eBay Motors. So you ordered a new air filter for your car. You try to install it but it doesn't fit. So you take a little bit off the sides. Well, still doesn't fit? Well, you could try to sit on it. Or get it right the first time with eBay Motors Guaranteed Fit. When you see the check, you know that part's gonna fit. Air filters, brakes, headlights, over 122 million parts. Get the right parts at the right prices. eBay Motors, let's ride. Welcome back. High school game of the week, Dell City Douglas tonight. Score is nine to seven. The Douglas Trojans with a two point lead with 2.33 left in the first quarter. It's been back and forth early. And we have seen some really aggressive basketball by both teams. Feel like both teams are in a hurry now that they've been able to run a little bit gas out some of that adrenaline. Yep. You're starting to focus and relax and just play your game right now. Um, and uh, we did have a situation where there was uh, some blood that they had to get cleaned up and you got to decontaminate the court and, and get the player taken care of. But uh, so far what we expected, we knew, we knew it would be a close game and that's what we're seeing right now. Yeah, 100%. Both teams are battling. Getting down low, a lot of physicality down low, a lot of great defense. That's why it's still a low score. 9-7, Douglas on top at home, two points. We've seen small runs by both teams. As you know, Dell City kind of started off with the run, and they had some momentum at the beginning. And then De Douglas answered, they had some momentum. And so it's been back and forth. and. That's how we came to a score of nine to seven with 233. It's hard to find an open shot. Both teams are very talented defensively and, and it makes it height. tough to score. So Dell City with the basketball and Percy gets it down low to Brandon Garrison puts up the shot, no good. Great Terry defense McMo by Terry McMorris. McMorris. 
Gets it. Landry Ballard's going to drive all the way to the baseline before kicking it out to Devon. And uh, there is a hold called on Jamari McAllister of Dell City. That is a foul on Dell City. It's on the floor, so Jace Breath of Douglas will inbound the basketball. I got to give McMorris a lot of credit for the defense he's been playing on Garrison early on in this basketball game because that's not an easy task whatsoever. Every shot that Garrison has had has been tough because of McMorris's defense. So, Steven Alexander, head coach of the Douglas Trojans, is yelling instructions to his player. They inbound the pass uh, past half court. It's retrieved by Terry McMorris. He's going to call for a screen, gets it to Landry Ballard who goes right, puts up the jump shot, can't get it to fall, it's rebounded. Jaden Foreman to Dell City, and the Eagles are pull, pushing the ball up the floor. Here's Jaden Foreman, loses control, it's stolen by Terry McMorris, two on two. Now he's just gonna get to the baseline and have to fight through that defense. They're gonna call offensive foul on Terry McMorris. They called a carry on Terry McMorris. He tried to hit him with the hesitation dribble, and when he did that, his hand came underneath the ball. It's the right call, it's a carry. So Dell City's gonna have an opportunity now to get the ball back and tie this game or even take the lead off a three-point shot. Demarius Veely gets it to the wing to Brandon Garrison, the six foot nine McDonald's All-American. Veely gets the ball back. Three-point attempt, good. They take the lead. No, they're going to say that's a two point, so that's just going to tie the game yep. for Dell City. His foot was on the line. Douglas has the basketball. Landry Ballard moving it around, gets it to Devon Scott. You've got to be careful with him on the, uh, just outside the arc. He's a talented three point shooter. He's going to drive and try to get the shot. It gets stolen. Now it's stolen back by Green Howard with the jump shot. No good. Rebounded Jaden Foreman of Dell City. So some missed opportunities by both teams. Here's Jaden Foreman. He's gonna hold the ball, gets it to Demarius Veely, who gets fouled by Landry Ballard. Ballard really tried to go for that steal, but he got some contact on the arm, so it's gonna be a foul on the floor. Dell City keeps the basketball, and we're still tied at nine points apiece. Landry Ballard and Devon Scotter is out of the game. Jaden Williams is in the game as well as trying. James Green Howard's in the game. And number zero, Antonio Green, who is guarding Demarius Veely right now. Veely goes left, he's looking for an open teammate, now he backs up. They're gonna want some sort of call here. Here's Jaden Foreman right at the free throw line, gives it down off the block to Garrison. Garrison turns around, no good. Rebounded Terry McMorris of Douglas. 19 seconds left, McMorris. Oh, oh my God! Oh my goodness! Terry McMorris with the poster dunk! Brought the house down. That just oh shot a shot of electricity into the building. Wow! What a play! Douglas up by two, 11 to nine. Here's a three point shot by Dell City. No good, rebounded Terry McMorris. That's the end of the first quarter, ladies and gentlemen. Douglas is up 11 to nine. After the first quarter, we're gonna take a quick timeout and come back and give you the second quarter. I hope you're ready. You're listening to the high school game of the week on CBS Sports Radio 105.3 FM HD1 in the All City Sports YouTube page. We'll be back. Are you looking to rent a car? Better yet, do you need to rent a car but don't want to go through the hassle? If you said yes, let the professionals at A-Plus Rent-A-Car put you in a rental vehicle today. They have low rates and the only requirements to rent a vehicle is you must be at least 21 years of age with a valid license, utility bill, and lease. Deposits are as low as $100. That's it. Low daily and weekly rental rates are available and great cars to choose from. A-Plus Rent-A-Car is located at 2906 Northwest 23rd Street in Oklahoma. 
Oklahoma City. Check out our website at aplusca.rental.com or call 405-602-0000. That's 405-602-0000 for A Plus Rent-A-Car. They accept cash, debit, prepaid, and credit cards. Kansas City Chiefs football is here. KINB 105.3 FM HD1. Kingfisher, Oklahoma City, a Perry Broadcasting Station. Welcome back to the high school game of the week between Dell City and Douglas. Douglas with a two-point lead going into the second quarter. They're up 11 to 9. These are two of the most talented teams in the state of Oklahoma going at it head-to-head. Dell City gets it to Jaden Foreman, puts up the shot. He's fouled. He'll go to the free throw line. Jaden Foreman is committed to Oklahoma State to play football. Talented kid. He is playing his senior year of basketball this year for Dell City, and he is a big part of this offense and this basketball team. He's still got some unfinished business before he switches to the gridiron on the collegiate level. That's right, and you gotta respect that because a lot of kids these days will skip playing basketball if they have a football scholarship. They'll leave and go play football and start training after Christmas break, but he decided to stay, play one more year with his squad and finish out his senior year, hopefully with a goal ball at the end of it. He misses his first free throw, so now he will have one more attempt to get within one, and he makes it. Score is 11 to 10, Douglas with the lead and the basketball. Now they've got to fight through the full court press being applied to them by the Dell City Eagles. James Green Howard moving it around, gets it to Terry McMorris, who's been the leader offensively tonight for Douglas. Jace Breath spins, puts up the jump shot, gets it to fall. Douglas goes up three, 13 to 10 with 7-11 left in the second quarter. Here's Dell City, and we've got an over up. It's a carry on Brandon Garrison. That's right. Wow. The McDonald's All-American made an unfortunate mistake. And when you're that tall and you're dribbling, I think every <laughs> dribble looks like it's a carry. <laughs> you know you what I mean? argue that, yeah. But what a shot by Jace Breath. He spins and fades his way with a hand in his face, still knocks it down. He might be the X factor in this basketball game. Jace Breath can play any position you need him to play on the basketball court. Gives it to Terry McMorris. He looking for some room to run. He goes left. Spins, puts up the jump shot, can't get it to fall, rebound of Brandon Garrison. Gives it to Percy Green, who's one of the better three-point threats in the state of Oklahoma. They get it down there on the block to Brandon Garrison. He D's up, turn around jumper on Terry McMorris and got it. Just what they needed. Dell City's within one, but Douglas has the ball. Landry Ballard takes it all the way, doesn't get it to go, rebounded Dell City. Here come the Eagles. Number 23, Jaden Foreman. Now, now it's Percy Green. He's step back jumper. No good. Rebounded Douglas. Here comes Landry Ballard, the starting point guard for Douglas. He drives, puts up the floater, gets blocked. Rebound, puts it up. No good, but gets fouled in the process. That's right. What an effort by Landry Ballard. My goodness. He drives the lane. Just a circus shot, gets it blocked, gets his own rebound, goes up, gets fouled, and now he's at the free throw line for two shots. The sense of urgency for both teams is apparent. Oh, like yeah. The, the, there's, it's just a high-intensity basketball game, and Landry's going to shoot the free throw and get it, so that increases the Douglas Trojan lead to two. They're up 14 to 12. He can get, to the, get them to the 15 mark if he makes his second free throw, and in and out. Dell City recovers the rebound. Down two, here come the Eagles. The Kalen Godwin is in the game. He's a very quick, solid point guard for this team. He can create a shot, 
as good as anybody. Here's Foreman for three. Got it. Dell City takes the lead by one. They're up 15 to 14. Needed that three-pointer. You can't leave Foreman open. That's his second three-pointer on the night. He's a shooter. Here's Terry McMorris. Kicks it out to Devon Scott for three. Bang. And Devon Scott, he's a shooter. Answers right back. Back-to-back -back threes. Foreman hits, then Scott hits. We're at 17-15. Something's got to give here. Dell City with the basketball. Godwin gets it to Deshaun Long, the senior guard. Brandon Garrison at the high post. Gives it to Godwin, puts up the shot, no good. Terry McMorris with the rebound for Douglas. Hands it off to Landry Ballard, who pushes it up the floor. Trying to get it to Jaden Williams, but it's stolen by Godwin of Dell City. He's gonna go up for the layup, no good. Putback shot is good. Brandon Garrison, the six foot nine McDonald's All-American there to clean up the mess. That's right. It's a tie ball game. 17 to seven with four minutes, 48 seconds left in the second quarter. We knew it would be a competitive basketball game, ladies and gentlemen, we're getting just that. No doubt about it. Feel free to comment on our All City Sports YouTube page. We would love to talk with you. It feels like every time something big in this game happens, the crowd just erupts. They're just waiting for those big moments, and they've been happening. 17-17, four minutes, 48 seconds left early on in this ball game. The fans' view has commented on the YouTube stream. They said, who y'all got winning the boys' game? That is to be determined. No comment. <laughs> that is to be determined, and honestly, we don't have an idea. Nope. We, I mean, both these teams are so close and so highly talented, highly ranked. Anything can happen, and right now we've got a tie ball game, 17-17, 4.45 left in the second quarter. Douglas with the basketball. Landry Ballard, Jr. Goes left, now backs up, kicks it to Jay Sprint down at the block, turn around jumper, puts up the shot, no good. Terry McMorris with the put back. The bucket's good and he got fouled in the process. What an end one play. What a great hustle play by McMorris. He follows Jay Sprint's miss. He's right there, puts it back, gets fouled at the free throw line for one shot. And free throws could be the difference of this game because it's so close. So that puts Douglas up by two, but they'll have an opportunity to go up three if Terry McMorris of Douglas can hit this free throw. But both teams are up and down the floor. It's fast, it's intense, and Terry McMorris makes his free throw to go up three. The score is 2017 Douglas. Dell City with the basketball. Godwin to Percy Green. Green into the corner. Number five has the ball, puts up the shot. That's Deshaun Long. He, he misses the shot, but He's going to the free throw line for two. Yep, they call the foul on Jace Breath. Jace Breath didn't like it. He had both hands in the air, so there was some body contact there. Dell City's at the free throw line for two shots. And I think you're right, Dylan. I think free throws are gonna play a major part in this game tonight. Here's the first shot, makes it with ease. Deshaun Long is a senior guard for this Dell City basketball team. He's been in the in the system, he's been in the program. He knows what he what's expected of him by head coach Lenny Hatchett. He has an ability to shoot a high percentage of free throws and three point shots. He's a great distributor. There's a lot of good things I can say about Deshaun Long. Here's the free throw shot. He misses the second one and it's rebounded by Terry McMorris of Douglas. He's fighting through the full court press, loses control of the basketball, has to get rid of it, it turns it over to Sean Long. Gets it to Foreman who gets it to Brandon Garrison and now it's stolen by Douglas. De Devon Scott puts up the shot. They're gonna call a foul on Dell City. Yep, Deshaun Long got a hand on the arm of Devon Scott. I don't think Lenny Hatchett, head coach of the Dell City Eagles, liked that call. Understandable. He just showed that he's still got a vertical. Yeah. He jumped <laughs> straight up in the air and was like, no what? So some mass substitutions here. So I didn't realize Terry McMorris was out of the game. He's back in the game. Caleb Moore is in the game for Douglas. 
Jaden Williams is in the game, and Devon Scott has the ball at the three-point line. Expensive tube, and he knocked it down. Wow. He elevated so far above the defender, and normally that's a three-point shot, but this time it was mid-range, so that's two points. Demarius Veely calling out the offense. Gives it to DeKalen Godwin. And Brandon Garrison gets the ball, and he's double-teamed, has to throw to Veely for three. No good. Devon Scott with the rebound. Hands it off to Landry Ballard, who pushes it up the floor. He's going to try and take it himself. Puts up the floater and got it. Ballard Great can't play. do that. Yes, he has a beautiful floater. And when he has an open, he's going to knock it down. Demarius Veely to Godwin on the wing. Down low to Percy Green. Turnaround jumper. No good, but guess what? He got fouled. He sure did. And Caleb Moore, I think, is going to get called for the foul. Yep, he got a yep. hand on him. It's the right call. So Lenny Hatchett is going to have a little team meeting while Percy Green shoots these free throws. He's got to get his boys right because every single possession in this ball game matters. Such a close game. So now it's a five-point game with a chance to make it four. Piercy Green, he's got one more shot. 24 to 19, 316 left in the second quarter. Douglas with the lead over Dell City right now. And he makes it. That's another free throw make by Percy Green to cut the deficit to four points. It scores 24 to 20. So Douglas will have the basketball, and Dell City's going to apply the full court press. It's really a zone, full court yeah. zone press. And normally it's Douglas applying the press against the opposing team, but now Dell City is. Yeah, McMorris lo lo lost his dribble, had to give it up to his teammate to put up the shot, no good. McAllister of Dell City gets the rebound, gives it to his teammate Godwin. Godwin throws to Veely. Now it's a corner three by Percy Green, and he got it to go. Knocks it down in the corner with the hand in his face. Percy Green, he's getting hot. And we've got a timeout called by the Douglas Trojans. Head coach Steven Alexander wants to have a chat with his team. Score is 24 to 23. Douglas with a one point lead with two minutes, 43 seconds left in the second quarter. Got to give a big shout out to our title sponsor this evening, Super Prep. That's right, Super Prep OK on Instagram. Give them a follow. I know you've got an Instagram account. And if you want to stay in the know and stay up to date on everything high school sports in the state of Oklahoma, give them a follow. You won't regret it. Also, Langston University, Kai's Life Changing Bar, Dick's Sporting Goods, Impressions Printing, Oklahoma City Dodgers Baseball Foundation, and Perry Publishing and Broadcasting Company. Those are our sponsors for tonight's epic high school game of the week and we really do appreciate them for doing that we wouldn't be able to do it without our sponsor that's right all right douglas with the basketball and a one point lead about two and a half left until halftime terry mcmorris kicks it to the corner devon scott for three got it you cannot leave him open he is a sharp shooter. Even when the hand's in his face, he still knocks it down. Dell City trying to answer to Marius Veely with the basketball. Loses his dribble, gives it to McAllister, throws it down on the block to Garrison, back to McAllister, who then throws to Percy Green for three. Got it! Percy Green, the answer. He knocks down a three, and that's his second in a row, back-to-back -back threes by Piercy Green. Landry Ballard bringing the ball up the court. He gets crossed half court, minute 56 left. He's directing traffic, trying to figure out how they want to attack this defense of Dell City. Devon Scott again from three, no good. Rebound of Brandon Garrison. He's gonna throw to Demarius Veely, who spins, has to get rid of it. Gives it back to Godwin. Now McAllister for three, got it! That's a senior, McAllister. He's played a lot of good basketball for Dell City, and he knocks down his first three of the game. Superb three-point shooting by both teams right now. This is what you expect when you have two talented teams like Douglas and Dell City going at it. Minute 15 left. Dell City has officially taken the lead, 29 to 27. 
They were down five just a minute ago. And oh! it was with the alley-oop dunk to Terry McMorris, but the basket is no good. They called an offensive foul on Douglas. If that would have counted, this place would have erupted. Holy moly. Well, Terry McMorris showcased his athleticism right man, there. I that mean, man has some serious bounce. He does. He does. He has some ability to dunk and do it pretty efficiently. A minute four <laughs> left in the second quarter. Two-point ball game. Dell City up by two. Under a minute left. Douglas is down for the first. Well, I think they've been down at one other point. Then they got up five, and then Dell City went on a run. And here they are with the ball and a two-point lead with 40 seconds left in the second quarter. And they're going to dribble it out and try to get the last shot before halftime. That's what it's looking like. So, yeah, as Piercy Green hit back-to-back -back threes. Then McAllister hits a three to give them the lead. They're up by two. 27 seconds left. Here comes Dell City. They're going to start executing their half-court offense to try and get a shot here. Jaden Foreman has it, and he's going to dribble right and gives it to his teammate. It's stolen by Douglas. Here come the Trojans. Green Howard with the layup. No good. Offensive rebound by Douglas. Kayla Moore gets it. Tries to get the putback shot, doesn't get it to go, but gets fouled in the process, so he'll go to the line for two. Yeah, Piercy Green ended up fouling him. He was trying to get the block from behind. A little bit of contact on the wrist. So Douglas is at the free throw line with seven seconds left before halftime. And that's number 43, Caleb Moore. He's got two shots with seven seconds left. He's going to have an opportunity here to tie this game, but he's got to make both of them. 29 to 27, Dell City is taking the lead, but here's Caleb Moore for Douglas. Misses the first one. So they, he doesn't have a shot to tie it here, but he can get within one, but he's got to make this second shot. Yep, this is a big moment for this junior. A lot of pressure on Jaylen him. Jalen right Wiley now. is in the game for Dell City. Here's the second free throw. No good. He missed both of them. Dell City with a two point lead in the ball. Four seconds left. Here's Percy Green to Vili for three. No good. That's the end of the second quarter. And we're going to halftime. The Dell City Eagles were down five points just a few minutes ago, but they'll go to halftime. With a two-point lead, they're up 29 to 27. Stay with us. We're going to take a short commercial break. We'll come back and we'll recap everything we just saw in the first half and speculate about the second half because it's only going to get more intense and more competitive. This is the high school game of the week. Dell City versus Douglas. Dell City's up two points at half. We'll be right back. This is CBS Sports Radio, 105.3 FM, HD1, and the All City Sports YouTube page. We'll be back shortly. As a dentist, I know what my patients are saying during times when they really can't speak. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. She says her gums are irritated. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Is there anything you can do? Absolutely. You can try New Crest Advanced Gum Restore. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep. New Crest Advanced Gum Restore. It detoxifies below the gum line to restore your gums back to health in just seven days. Healthy gum, healthy mouth. Exactly. Healthy gums, healthy mouth. New Crest Advanced Gum Restore. Healthy, beautiful smiles for life. Are you looking to rent a car? Better yet, do you need to rent a car but don't want to go through the hassle? If you said yes, let the professionals at A-Plus Rent-A-Car put you in a rental vehicle today. They have low rates and the only requirements to rent a vehicle is you must be at least 21 years of age with a valid license, utility bill, and lease. Deposits are as low as $100. That's it. Low daily and weekly rental rates are available and great cars to choose from. A-Plus Rent-A-Car is located at 2906 Northwest 23rd Street in Oklahoma. Oklahoma City. Check out our website at aplusca-rental.com or call 405-602-0000. That's 405-602-0000 for A-Plus Rent-A-Car. They accept cash, debit, prepaid, and credit cards. 
First Security Bank and Trust Company proudly serves our community and believes we have the responsibility to help it prosper. Bank with people you know and trust right here in our community. First Security Bank and Trust offers customized personal, small business, and commercial financial products and services to meet your specific needs. To discuss your personal or business needs, visit us today at 1541 Northeast 23rd Street or give us a call at 405-424-4341 or visit our website at www.fsbokc.com. First Security Bank and Trust Company, member FDIC, equal housing lender. My brother-in-law died suddenly, and now my sister and her kids have to sell their home. That's why I told my husband we could not put off getting life insurance any longer. An agent offered us a 10-year, $500,000 policy for nearly $50 a month. Then we called SelectQuote. SelectQuote found us identical coverage for only $19 a month. A savings of $369 a year. Whether you need a $500,000 policy or a $5 million policy, SelectQuote could save you more than 50% on term life insurance. For your free quote, call SelectQuote at 1-800-504-4747. That's 1-800-504-4747. Or go to SelectQuote.com. 1-800-504-4747. That's 1-800-504-4747. SelectQuote. We shop. You save. Full details on example policies at selectquote.com slash commercials. IRS. Three letters that strike fear into everyone, and for a good reason. The IRS is the most powerful collection agency on earth, and being in debt to the IRS can have serious consequences. Oftentimes, it begins with the IRS sending you a collection letter, and then escalates. And before you know it, they're garnishing your paychecks, seizing your bank accounts, even your home or business could be at risk. But thankfully, there's Optima Tax Relief, America's number one most trusted tax relief firm. They've resolved over $1 billion in tax debt for their clients, A-plus rated by the Better Business Bureau. Their tax professionals have the expertise and experience to help you put your tax debt to rest. Call now and get your free consultation today. Call 800-386-9945. 800-386-9945. 800-386-9945. Optima Tax Relief. Some restrictions apply. For complete details, please visit OptimaTaxRelief.com. So you want to marry my daughter? Yes, I do. So do you hang out in the hood all the time or do you just come up here for our food and women? This January. Your family, my family. I don't know how this is going to work. I like your braids. Thank you. Exhibit head braids. Jonah Hill, Lauren London, with Julia Louis-Dreyfus and Eddie Murphy. What's up with white cuz? My white cuz? Well, I'm not. You People, directed by Kenya Barris, rated R, streaming January 27th, only on Netflix. Every pro is an MVP to us. As a Lowe's MVPs rewards member, you can earn bonus points when you shop select products and brands. Then redeem them for exciting rewards like tools, sports memorabilia, e-gift cards, and more. Join today to become a member and start earning. Bonus points calculated before taxes and fees after applicable discounts, if any. Subject to program terms. While supplies last. Points expired end of calendar year. Visit Lowe's.com slash MVPs bonus points for details. King C. Gillette is the modern man's answer to their facial hair, and with a complete set of precision tools, the King C. Gillette line offers the perfect fit for your facial hairstyle. Want to try something great? Try the Style Master, the quintessential styling tool that every man needs to craft their style. It's a waterproof cordless trimmer with a long-lasting four-directional blade. It's extremely versatile and designed to edge, trim, and stubble in four directions on any hair length. Master your style with King C. Gillette. Here's football star Tony Romo for Skechers Max Cushioning Footwear. You know when you go to your kid's game and you have to sit on those uncomfortable, super hard bleachers? That's how I feel now when I wear regular shoes. Why? Because once I started wearing Skechers Max Cushioning, I've been spoiled with how amazing extra cushioning feels. Skechers maxed out the cushioning with a thick, comfy slice of super light Ultra Go cushioning for a soft, pillowy feel with every step. See all the fashionable styles of Max Cushioning at the Skechers store, Skechers.com, or wherever stylish footwear. Oklahoma City, I'm Miles Perry, and I want you to listen to my show, Super Prep Live. Super Prep Live takes an in-depth look at the Oklahoma high school student athlete and what makes he or she become great at what they do. Super Prep Live can be heard on OKC's CBS Sports Radio 105.3 and Instagram Live. 
make sure you tune in and learn about the next great student athlete on Super Prep Live with me, Miles Perry. Injuries don't wait for business hours. Now you can be seen 24 seven for sports injuries. Whether you have a sprain or a broken bone at the SSM Health Bone and Joint Injury Clinic at 13401 Northwestern. And we are back, high school game of the week here live from Douglas Gymnasium here in the heart of Oklahoma City, right off of MLK Junior Avenue. We've got a packed house here tonight between two powerhouse basketball programs, the Dell City Eagles and the Douglas Trojans. Both fans. Both fan bases are here to represent their school, and it is spectacular, the support both schools are receiving here tonight. We've got a close ball game as well, and we knew it would be competitive. Both teams extremely talented, extremely athletic, and right now the Dell City Eagles have a two-point lead at halftime. They're up 29-27 to going into the third quarter. Thoughts and opinions for both teams, Dylan. What what needs to be done for the you know for a team to declare themselves the the winner tonight? Knock down shots, force turnovers, and make your free throws and minimize mistakes. You're not going to get a more open shot than a free throw tonight. I assure you. Dell City's going to start off with the basketball and a two point lead. The third quarter, Percy Green. Has the basketball, gives it to Vili, now to McAllister, now down low to Brandon Garrison, who quickly throws to Jaden Foreman in the corner. Here's a three-point attempt, no good. Off the hands of Brandon Garrison. Douglas is gonna have an opportunity to tie this game or even take the lead on a three-point shot. Jaden Williams gets the ball at half court. Hands off to Landry Ballard, who gets double teamed. Needs some help, throws to Jaden Williams. Back to Terry McMorris of Douglas, who then hands it off to his teammate, Landry Ballard Jr., comes off a screen, trying to find a lane, goes dribbles behind, spins, puts up the jump shot, no good, fighting for a rebound. Brandon Garrison, the 6'9", McDonald's All-American, gets it, passes to his teammate, Jamori McAllister, gives it to Percy Green, puts up the shot, no good, rebounded Terry McMorris. Douglas moving the basketball up the court. McMorris kicks it to Jaden Williams in the corner, gives it back to Terry McMorris. He's gonna backpedal and restart this half court offense. Hands off to his teammate Landry Ballard. They're just trying to at least get a good high percentage shot. 
in hopes of tying this game or even taking the lead. Here's Jace Breath. Look at that defense by Jaden Foreman. Got, got it stolen. Yep. Jamari McAllister of Dell City has the basketball. Two-point lead. They're going to try and increase their lead if they can. That's right. McAllister drives right, finds a lane, gets to the block, spins. Gets what a block. Swatted. Terry McMorris with the swat. Heck of a block by that young man. He does everything for this Douglas Trojan squad. And he knows this Dell City squad as well. He played there the past two years before transferring over the summer to Douglas. And now he's playing his former team. Demarius Veely with the ball. The veteran point guard for Dell City. Drives through the paint, now steps out, gives it down on the block to Brandon Garrison. Turns around, jumps, gets it. He says, you're too small to guard me. He sure did, and that's his shot. He can hit that hook fadeaway shot down low all night. Dell City up four. Here's Landry Ballard with the lay in and got it. What a play by that young man to get within two. He just went into Brandon Garrison and finished over him with the left-handed layup. He knew wow. where he was gonna jump and he adjusted. Brandon Garrison down low. Oh, that's Jaden Foreman. He's got it, misses the shot. Now they're fighting for the ball. I think they're gonna call a jump ball. Oh, a timeout. Coach Hatchett got the timeout at the last second. What a heads up play by him. That was a really smart coaching move by the veteran coach, Lenny Hatchett, who has won a state championship with this Dell City basketball team before. He's created a winning culture there and they, have been a dominant basketball team over the past several years. Yep. You know what that shows me, him calling that timeout? He knows and recognizes how important every single possession is. Every single one's important. And that's why he called that timeout. Want to give a big shout out to our sponsors again, Super Prep. Super Prep OK on Instagram. Please give them a follow. Langston University. Kai's life-changing bar. It's absolutely delicious if you haven't had one yet. Dick's Sporting Goods, Impressions Printing, Oklahoma City Dodgers Baseball Foundation, and Perry Publishing and Broadcasting Company. 528 left in the third quarter. This is gonna be tight. You're gonna have to play efficient basketball. The margin of error is very small for both teams. Here's Brandon Garrison. Throws it in the corner to Veely for three. No good, rebound at Terry McMorris of Douglas. Here comes Landry Ballard. Almost got, almost well, ran over. It's gonna be it a foul. It was a blocking foul. Yep, Garrison was there. No feet were set, it's the right call. Yep, Jamori McAllister, the senior guard for Dale City gets called for the foul. He's gonna get subbed out. And number five, Deshaun Long, is going to come in the game from McAllister. Jace Breath inbounds it, gets the ball back to Jace Breath. He goes right, gives it to Jaden Williams, who tries to get it to Terry McMorris and finally does. And McMorris with the layup, no good. Well defended by Percy Green. He got the rebound for Dell City. And they've got a two point lead in the basketball. Demarius Veeley. Overlooking, gives it to the high post to Brandon Garrison. He's thought about taking the shot, but gives it to Foreman on the wing. They go. Now Garrison gets the ball back on the, on the block, turn around, one-handed jumper, no good. Terry McMorris with the ball. He bringing it up, up the court, throws it in the corner to Scott. Scott gets double team, gives it back to Ballard, to Williams. Williams to Jace Breath at the high post. He's gonna kind of start over. Now he gets it to McMorris in the baseline, puts up the shot, no good. McMorris wanted a foul, didn't get it. No foul, I guess it was a clean block by Jaden Foreman. And it's stolen by Landry Ballard. Two on one, he throws up the floater. Rebounded Dell City, he didn't make the shot. Here's Demarius Veeley, he's gonna attack the rim. Puts up the shot, makes it. Is that a blocking foul? It sure is. It's a charge. Jaden Williams of the Douglas Trojans took the charge. What a offensive play foul by that on Dell City. Douglas will have an opportunity to get the ball back and 
tie this ball game up on this possession. Just under four minutes left in the third. Jay Spretz has got to take advantage of this mismatch. He's That's got a the small size. Defender. He's got the size advantage. And he was trying to get around him, but Dell City was applying some good defense right there. Guy was all over him, but it was a foul. I guess that's the right thing to do in that situation. You know you're undersized. You don't want to give up a bucket, so you foul on the floor. And, oh, my oh. gosh, the ball went out of bounds, and Landry Ballard was standing out of bounds. It touched him. Wow. So it's going to be out of bounds on Landry Ballard. Dell City's going to get the basketball back up two points. They're up 31-29, to 29, just under four minutes left in the, four, in the third quarter. This is going to come down. I'm just going to call it right now. This is going to come down to the end. Yeah, it might come down to the very last possession on who wins this game. Who Both gets the last teams shot? really don't make many mistakes. Devon Scott almost got crossed over. He That's did get the, crossed. That's what the crowd <laughs> is reacting crossed. to. Now it's stolen. Right, or they're going to call a reach-in oh, foul on Devon Scott. they're going to call a reach-in, yep. He got frustrated, got crossed, went for the steal, but there's contact. It's going to be on the floor, though. That's uh, Douglas's first foul of this second half. So Percy Green is going to throw in the inbound pass for Dell City. And it's stolen by Douglas. Jaden Williams gets it to Landry Ballard. Now Terry McMorris has it. He's getting guarded by Godwin. He kicks it to Jaden Green for a deep three. No good. And it... They're saying it was off the fingertips of Terry McMorris, so Dell City's going to no, retain gonna possession. Stay. Okay. It's going to stay with Douglas. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's wow, Douglas okay. basketball. I think that, it was off Jaden Foreman. He yeah, went that, for the rebound. I, that was a, a close call. I wish we had replay here on the high school level, but Douglas has the ball, gets it to Terry McMorris in the corner. Pulls up three. Did he get blocked by Brandon he Garrison? He got fouled on the three-point shot, so he's got three free throws coming up. Because that was a three-point attempt. Sure was. Brandon Garrison, the 6'9", McDonald's All-American, fouled him on the three-point line. He wanted to block his old teammate. Unfortunately, it's going to be a foul. And Terry McMorris will have three free throw attempts. He needs to at least make two of them to tie the game. Here's the first shot. Got it to fall, they're within one. Can he tie it up on this free throw attempt? Douglas needs it. Yep. Terry McMorris is the guy to do it. He's very efficient from the free throw line. Puts up the second shot, got it. Tie ball game, 31 to 31. Got a chance he to take the lead right here. Has one more free throw left. Three minutes, 10 seconds left in the third quarter. Two of the best teams in the state of Oklahoma. Got it. Douglas will go up one point. They're up 32-31. Dell City with the basketball. Demarius Feely, the veteran point guard for the Eagles, bringing the ball up the court. Just gets past half court. Landry Ballard is guarding him. Feely's directing traffic, gets it to his teammate Godwin. Godwin's directing traffic. Get back to Feely, down low to Brandon Garrison. McMorris is all over him. Garrison puts up the shot, no good, but gets fouled in the process. They They're call the foul on McMorris. It looked like it was a close call. I think it could have gone either way, a block. Or foul, they call the foul, so Garrison's at the free throw line. Got to knock these down if he wants to give the Dell City Eagles the lead back. Everything we've seen in this game has shown us it's going to be a very close down the stretch. And you mentioned it, Dylan, free throws are going to play a massive role in this game. Yes. Take advantage of it. Brandon Garrison does. He got the free throw. He'll have another. Tie ball game. 32-32, Dell City can retake the lead if Brandon Garrison can hit the free throw. Brandon Garrison going to Oklahoma State next year to play Division I basketball for the Pokes. Puts up the shot, Dell City does in fact take the lead by one. It's a good sign when your 6'9 center can knock down free throw shots. Douglas with the basketball fighting through the press. Here's Jace Breath to Landry Ballard. Landry cuts, 
trying to get a what shot. What a block by Garrison. It's blocked. Dell City gets the ball back. They push it up the floor. Here's Demarius Vili for Dell City. Shaking and baking. Almost stolen by Landry Ballard. Goes out of bounds off Douglas. Dell City will get the basketball back. They're up by one. Lenny Hatchett is directing traffic. He, he prefers to have Percy Green as the inbound passer. Yeah, because he's got height. Percy throws into Deshaun Long. No, is that De Demarius Veely? Yes, it is. Veely directing traffic, gives it to Godwin, back to Veely. Taking their time, trying to figure out how to execute and how to attack. Godwin drives baseline, gives it to Brandon Graham, is getting guarded. Backdoor pass to Percy Green off the glass, it's good. What a pass by Garrison and what a finish by Green. Dell City is up by three points. Terry McMorris loses control but gives the ball to Jace Breath who puts up the jump shot and got it. They're down one still. 35-34, Dell City up one with the basketball. Minute 39 left in the third quarter. Dell City on the wing. Demarius Feely throws cross court to Jaden Foreman, who's been hot from three. Gets it to the high post to Brandon Garrison. He's going to drive, puts up the shot, no good. Gets mm. fouled in the process. I don't know. That was a really tough call. I didn't see much contact. Is McMorris the foul doesn't like it. It's on Terry McMorris. He, he made sure he didn't touch him. He even put his hands down, but that's, they're going to call a foul. That's his third foul of the game. And they need him. They will most certainly need him down the stretch. Here's Brandon Garrison with the shot. It's good. And that increases Dell City's lead by two. They're up 36-34. Percy Green's coming out of the game. And Jalen Wiley is in the game for Percy Green. So Brandon Garrison has one more free throw attempt. He could increase their lead to three and does. He does. If I'm Coach Alexander, I might switch Jace Breath to guard Garrison for a little bit because we don't want McMorris getting in deep foul trouble. McMorris, oh, and he almost got it stolen by Brandon Garrison. McMorris drives past it, puts up the layup and gets it. Douglas gets to 36, Dell City up one with the basketball, minute five left in the third. Here come the Eagles. Demarius Veely steps back, getting guarded by Jace Breath. Veely trying to cross him up. He's also listening to Coach Hatchet direct traffic. Veely goes to the right side. He's going to try and maybe hold on to the ball and try to get this last get get score on the last possession. Yeah, he might. That's they don't want to give Douglas an opportunity to take the lead here. I think they are going to hold it. Not really trying to get any type Beely of shot. Beely almost got it stolen, and they're going to call and over the oh backcourt violation back on Dell City. Great defensive play by number three, Jaden Williams for Douglas. Now the referees are having a talk. They're going to oh, give they're it gonna back. They're going to change it. Wow, that's a tough call that we really need to remember. It's a one-point game. Everything counts. All right, so Dell City will retain the basketball. Jalen Wiley will inbound the pass to Dell City. So Dell City's up one, 37-36. Only 25 seconds left in the third quarter. And they inbound the pass to Demarius Veely. He's going to slowly get it to half court. Landry Ballard to Douglas is all over him. He drives right, fakes left, goes right, kicks it to Percy Green, gives it to Brandon Garrison, who goes, gives it to Jaden Foreman for three, no good. Rebounded Douglas, three seconds left. Here's Landry Ballard to Devon Scott for three, no good. That's the end of the third quarter, ladies and gentlemen. The score is 37 to 36. Dell City leads by one over the Douglas Trojans. Getting ready for a fourth quarter that you won't forget. I promise you that. That's why it's the high school game of the week. We'll be back. All City Sports YouTube channel.
It's CBS Sports Radio, 105.3 FM, HD1. Fourth quarter is coming up next. Oklahoma City, I'm Miles Perry, and I want you to tune into my show, Super Prep Live. Super Prep Live takes an in-depth look at the Oklahoma high school student athlete and what makes he or she become great at what they do. Super Prep Live can be heard on OKC's CBS Sports Radio 105.3 and Instagram Live. Make sure you tune in and learn about the next great student athlete on Super Prep Live with me, Miles Perry. Welcome back to the high school game of the week here on CBS Sports Radio on a 5.3 FM HD1. And it's living up to the hype, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your play-by-play announcer, Jay Swick. To my right is my play, well, commentator, play-by-play commentator. <laughs> Color commentator, Color brother. commentator, thank you. I'm all, I'm all. We're both excited. This is it, a man. wild game. This is a wild game. The Douglas Trojans are down by one, 37-36 against Dell City. And Douglas has the basketball. Landry Ballard gives it to Terry McMorris on the wing. He's getting guarded by Jaden Foreman. McMorris spins, drives baseline, reverse layup. Got it. Wow. Show what a take his by athleticism. McMorris. The up and under layup over his former teammate, Jaden Foreman. So here comes Demarius Veely of Dell City. He's telling Percy, hey, come get this basketball. Gives it to him. Jaden Williams and Douglas is all over him. They get it down on the block to Brandon Garrison, who's getting guarded by Terry McMorris. Garrison's backing him up. Spins. Trying to find a teammate. Finds Veely at the wing for three. No good. Rebound to Jace Breath of Douglas. The Trojans down by one with the basketball. Scott to Landry Ballard. Trying to cross it up to get an open shot. Puts up the floater. No good. Rebound at Brandon Garrison to Dell City. Gives it to Veely. Veely's going to drive the lane. Now he's going to step back out. I thought he was going to attack the paint, but he gives it to Wiley. Now Percy Green for three, no good. Devon Scott for the rebound for Douglas. Jace Breath with the ball. He's going to step back, overlook the defense, try and figure out how to attack this Dell City defense. They are up one now. Dell City's up 38-37. We've got a timeout called by head coach Stephen Alexander of Douglas. Want to give a big shout out to our sponsors for the night. And that is Super Prep. Okay on Instagram. As well as Langston University. Kai's Life Changing Bar. Dick's Sporting Goods. Impressions Printing. Oklahoma City Dodgers Baseball Foundation and Perry Publishing and Broadcasting Company. Are there anybody commenting on our All City Sports YouTube page? I'm asking that to our producer so he can pull it up. All right, feel free to make comments, answer questions. We are streaming this game live on the All City Sports YouTube page. You can watch it on any cellular device, on your phone, on your tablet, on your computer. And there's six and a half minutes left in the fourth quarter. Douglas is up by one, 38 to 37. We've had several lead changes tonight, Yeah, Dylan. Back and forth this entire game, and it's still a one-point game. Douglas is on top at home, six minutes, 31 seconds Del left. Dell City led by five early second quarter, Yep. but since then it's been a one-point, two-point ball game for the most part. Douglas with the ball. Terry McMorris puts up the shot, no good. Jace Breath with the rebound. And he gets called for the foul. I think it's going to be an over-the-back foul on either Garrison or Foreman because they were the two defenders around breath, and Douglas is going to keep the basketball. They're going to inbound the pass from the baseline, gives it to Devon Scott. you got to be careful because he is a three-point threat at any point in the game. They're try- Douglas is trying to increase their lead. This would be a huge victory for the program. Here's Scott, comes off a screen. Gets it down low to Jace Breath, and it goes out of bounds off Jace Breath. It's going to be Douglas, or Dell City basketball. Yep, a little miscommunication on that possession. So Dell City now has the basketball. Chance to take the lead right back. Demarius Veely, senior guard for Dell City. Bringing the ball up the court. 
Gives it to Percy Green at the top of the key. Now to the high post to Brandon Garrison. He turns around. Gets it down low to Percy Green who gets triple teamed. Still is able to put the shot up but gets stolen by Jace Breath of Douglas. Great defense by Jaden Williams, especially not fouling. Jace Breath trying to increase their lead. They're up one. Five and a half left in the game. Terry Morris gets the ball almost ripped out of his hands. They're going to call a jump ball. Possession arrow is pointed to Dell City, so they'll take over on offense. What a play by McAllister to get his hands in there, create the turnover, and give his team the ball right back. They're going to inbound pass to Demarius Feely, gives it to McAllister. McAllister to Foreman on the wing. Brandon Garrison's calling it on the block. They give it to him. He's getting guarded by Terry McMorris. He then dishes out to Vili, who gets the ball to Foreman along the three-point line. Foreman crosses over, attacks, turn around, passes to Vili. There is no shot clock in high school, so they're just going to take their time until they feel like they can get a high percentage shot. Here's Vili. Dribbles, kicks it out to Foreman for three, no good. Rebounded, Douglas. It was an air ball. Here's Landry Ballard. He Euro steps, puts up the shot, no good. And it goes out of bounds. Douglas basketball, they're gonna say it was last touch by Dell City. Wow, wow. Dell City disagrees. Of course they do. I think that was a 50-50 ball. It looked like the defender and the player on offense both had a hand on it, so that's just Demarius a judgment Demarius Vili let the ball go out of bounds. He had mm. an opportunity to grab it, but he thought it was out on Douglas. Here's McMorris, gets the ball off the glass. It's good. Did they call that on the floor, or did they give him the end one? On the floor. Wow. No basket, no I, bucket. That is wild. And that is a call by our very own Dwayne Doolittle, who is part of the CBS Sports Radio broadcast team. In his spare time, he is head of officiating. And he is one of the referees in this ball game. We may have to ask him about that call later on. But he does a tremendous job. Yeah, they got a solid ref squad tonight. And here's Douglas. 4.30, four minutes, 30 seconds left in the fourth quarter. They're up one in the basketball. Jace Breath spins, jump shot, got it! Douglas is up three now, 40 to 37. I love that shot by Jace Breath. The outside pivot back inside, fadeaway jumper, good. Brandon Garrison on the wing gives it back to Demarius Vealy who throws to Jaden Foreman. Jace Breath is all over him. McAllister drives, puts up the what shot. What a block by McMorris, and they're going to, what they call a goaltend. Oh, man. I think that's they exactly what they, what they called. So mm. that's two points for Dell City. They're now down one. It's going to come down to the stretch, people. We, it we, it's living up to the hype. We knew how competitive and talented both teams are. This is why it's the high school game of the week here on CBS Sports Radio. Terry McMorris turns around, has his dribble, starts to dribble, hands to Jaden Williams, who thought about pulling up. Now he has to dish to Jace Breath, who goes right baseline, trying to get a shot off at the block. It's blocked by Brandon Garrison, and Jace Breath gets the ball back again. Three and a half left in the fourth. Douglas up one. 40 to 39, Landry Ballard with the ball. He's gonna drive, gives it to Jace Breath at the free throw line, puts up the jump shot, no good. Rebounded Dell City. Jace Breath had a good look on that mid-range shot, just couldn't get it to fall. Demarius Vili gets it on the block to Brandon Garrison who tries to bully his way, then he dishes to his teammate, and we've got a cha charge call. They're gonna call a, a blocking, blocking foul. foul. It's not a charge, it's I, a blocking foul yeah. on Douglas. Tough call. I really and truly thought Jace Breath had his feet set, but the ref disagrees. So McAllister is at the free throw line. These free throws are so crucial. Only three minutes and five seconds left in this game. And Dell City has taken the lead by one. They're up 41 to 40. How did they take the lead? He didn't even attempt a free throw. That's I'm, interesting. Did, huh. did we miss a bucket here? I'm not sure. Yeah, something's going on there. 
it was just 40 to 39. And then they put 41 on the scoreboard without any shot attempt whatsoever. So here's McAllister. Misses the free throw, rebounded Terry McMorris. Here come Douglas, down one. Here's Landry Ballard, now he kicks to Jaden Williams for three. Got it! Shooter in the corner, that's the sophomore Jaden Williams. And Dell City has called a timeout to try and slow down the momentum. That's exactly what Douglas needed. Down one, hit the three to go up two. The score is 43-41 with two minutes, 53 seconds left in this basketball game. We're gonna stay right here again. Our title sponsor for this broadcast, Super Prep. Super Prep OK on Instagram. Give them a follow if you want to stay in the know in regards to high school sports in the state of Oklahoma. I'm your play-by-play -play announcer, Jay Swick. My color commentator is Dylan Tribble. This is an exciting basketball game this evening. We've been promoting it all week long. We've interviewed the coaches, talked about the matchups, and we're seeing it play out live here on the All City Sports YouTube page and CBS Sports Radio 105.3 FM HD1. Who's going to win this ball game, Dylan? I mean, this is this Only is time close. will tell. Only time will tell, my friend. Douglas has a two-point lead. They're up 43-41. to 41. Dell City's not going to back down. They've got a McDonald's All-American in Brandon Garrison, who's one of the top players in the nation. He will play for the West squad in the McDonald's All-American alongside LeBron James Jr. Wow. What a fun time in that kid's life. Here's Dell City trying to tie it or even take the lead. Gives it to Brandon Garrison. It goes off out of bounds. Scott was trying to save it, but it's still going to be out of bounds. Dell City is going to retain the basketball. McAllister going to throw in the inbound pass to Jaden Foreman, who gives it to Vili at the top of the key. Back to McAllister on the wing. He's waiting for his teammates to move around, gives it to Garrison on the block, who's getting guarded by Terry McMorris. Garrison finds a lay, some room in the lane, and puts up the layup and got it. So now we've got a tie ball game with 2.20 left in the fourth quarter, 43-43. Douglas with the basketball. That was just a strong move by the big fella, Brandon Garrison. McMorris for three. Got it! McMorris knocks the clutch three down with two minutes left to go. Douglas goes up three. Dell City with the basketball, Give it, gives it to Garrison, who backs down, puts up the shot, no good. Rebound by Terry McMorris. And he's getting double teamed, has to give it to Landry Ballard, who pushes it up the court. They'd love to make it a two possession lead if they can get some points right now. I have a feeling they're gonna take their time, no shot clock. They're on top by three. Terry McMorris, and there's a timeout called by Steven Alexander of Douglas. Smart timeout by Coach Alexander. We're gonna stay right here. The game is too close to take a commercial break. There's a minute 36 left in this game. Douglas has a three point lead. They're up 46 to 43. They'd love to put any kind of points, even if they go to the free throw line, they, they want to go up two possessions here, Dylan. That would be so huge down the stretch of this basketball game. Every single possession counts. You don't really know how many possessions are left in this basketball game. One minute, 36 seconds left. Douglas Trojans got the lead in their home gym by three points. This has been everything that we wished for and hoped for, lived up to the hype. Absolutely. We've had big moments. Yeah, there's no question. And there's some people commenting regarding that phantom score that, that we thought. Okay, a, a so what ago. happened on that? So th there was a bucket whenever the charge happened. Oh, okay, so I there, guess I just missed it. Yeah, I, 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 I basically missed it as well, but. 
I mean, the margin of error is so small in this game. I mean, one bad turnover here at this point in the game could mean the difference between winning and losing. Douglas with the three-point lead and the ball, a minute and a half left. Here's Landry Ballard telling his teammates, hey, come here, i got to give you the basketball. Now Terry Moore steps out for get up a screen. They get it to Terry. Terry back to Landry. It's almost like Landry Ballard is just trying to milk this clock. Yeah, he's a great ball handler, so they might and have to try to out. get a steal. And now he, he gets, gets a wide layup. open layup in the lane, finishes. And that does make it a two possession lead. They're up 48 to 43 with a minute left in the game. Dell City needs points and need it now. Veely gives it to Garrison. Turn around, floater, got it. So now it's a three point difference. That was a, a big bucket by Brandon Garrison. Had to have it. Of Dell City. Now they're within three. They need to get a stop. Got, I mean, they might have to go for a steal or a foul. No shot clock. Douglas has a lot of guys who can handle the ball very well. So we're going to see what happens. 53 seconds left in this basketball game. That was a huge bucket by Brandon Garrison to keep his team in this basketball game. Somehow, He's a McDonald's All-American for a reason. Somehow, someway, Dell City's got to get Douglas to turn the basketball over or miss some shots or maybe even put them at the line and hope that they miss free throws. Yeah. Something's got to give if Dell City wants to come back and win this basketball game. We've had so many lead possession changes throughout this game, it's hard to keep track of it. Yeah, indeed. We've had some big moments. You know, Dell City's hit, hit some big buckets down the stretch. Douglas hit that big three-point shot by Terry McMorris. That was huge. We saw the dunk earlier in the game by Terry McMorris. I mean, it's it's been a highlight-filled basketball game. And well, we're going to determine a winner here. 53 seconds left. Douglas is up 48 to 45. Got a three-point lead. Del is going to apply full court pressure on defense. So Douglas is in no hurry. They have a three-point lead and, and the ball, so they're going to try and draw the foul, and that's exactly what happened is Dell City fouled them and will probably put them at the line now. Yep, Jace Breath got fouled. They tried to double-team him, go for the steal, got to reach and foul them. He's at the free-throw line, and these are huge. This could make this game two possessions if he just makes one of them. Jace Breath is... One of the leaders of this basketball team puts up the shot, got it. It's now two possession lead with 41 seconds left. It's a great move for Douglas right now. Yep. They're in great position. Clutch shot by the senior. We'll see if he can make the second free throw. Got it. Big time. Five point difference. Douglas is up five. Dale City with the basketball, 40 seconds to go. Let's see how this plays out. McAllister gives it to Percy Green for three. No good, rebound of Jace Breath of Douglas. You can feel them taking control of this game. They're just going back and forth between Landry Ballard and Jace Breath and Dell City's forced to foul Landry Ballard and put him at the line. And right now Douglas is in great position They're to win this great game. great position. What a great defensive play by Jaden Williams to contest that three and not foul. It was a really tough shot for Piercy Green from Dell City. No good, and Douglas is at the free throw line. That's Ballard. Got it. That increases their lead to six. Douglas up 51 to 45 with 22 seconds left. He'll have one more free throw attempt. Could increase the lead to six. Puts up the shot, and it goes. Wow. Big time free throws by the Douglas Trojans. So Dell City's probably going to have to attempt a three. Got Yeah, they got to knock down some threes. And they're going to let this dribble out, and it's taken by Damaris Vili, who takes it down the court. He's going to dribble, puts up the shot. No, no foul. No. Ball goes out of bounds. And Dwayne Doolittle is going to get 
ruled the ball to Douglas. Yeah, so Vili tries to force the contact and jump into McMorris. And of course, that's a no call. He was looking for some contact, didn't get the call. So now Douglas, they got the ball back up by seven points with 17 seconds left. Wow, what a game we've experienced yeah. here. This is the biggest deficit we've seen all game, and, and this is, you know, Down. occurred in the last minute of this basketball game. Yep. I'm just uh, very impressed with both teams overall. We will see Ladies both teams have an opportunity to go very far in the playoffs. No doubt about They're that. They're both highly ranked in Class 5A with Dell City and then in Class 4A with Douglas. I expect them both to make runs at the state championship this 100%. year. 100%. They're, they have veteran leadership. They have high quality head coaches and Steven Alexander for Douglas and Lenny Hatchett for Dell City. They just match up so well together. And a few missed opportunities, a few, you know, one or two turnovers here by that go differently for Dell City that, I mean, that's the difference in this game is, is just a few possessions. Yeah, all down the stretch. The execution down the stretch was better for Douglas than it was Dell City. And that's what this game came down to. It was a one possession game until about a minute left. And, and now, you know, Douglas is going by seven points, only 17 seconds left. All they got to do is play some smart basketball and finish this one out. Yeah, we'll see if Dell City continues to foul them. They give it to Jaden Williams. Gives it back to Jay Spreth. Back to Williams. And they're going to give it to Landry Ballard, who's going to hold on to the basketball. And that's going to pretty much be the end of the game. The Douglas Trojans are victorious. They have beaten the Dell City Eagles by seven points, 52 to 45. High quality victory by the Douglas Trojans. Yeah, what a huge basketball game tonight. Douglas is victorious. What a big night for Terry McMorris against his old teammates at his new school. He gets the dub and all his teammates run up to him after the ball game. They got his back. Dre Stubbs uh, commented on our YouTube broadcast. He said, Douglas with the big W in the upset. I don't know if I'd call it an upset, but I mean, you, I guess you could. They're, they're 4A and Dell City is 5A, so that's one way to look at it. But either way, Dale, uh, Douglas showcased their athleticism, showcased their talent, and got the victory and earned the W tonight. I want to thank everybody for tuning in to the broadcast here on CBS Sports Radio and the All City Sports YouTube page. I want to give a big shout out to our title sponsor, Super Prep. Super Prep OK on Instagram. Give them a follow. Also, Langston University, Guys Life Changing Bar, Dick's Sporting Goods, Impressions Printing, and Oklahoma City Dodgers Baseball Foundation as well as Perry Publishing and Broadcasting Company. Have a great night, Oklahoma. Thank you for tuning in. We forgot the big O's oh, player of sure. the game. By all means, Dylan, that's your job. I got you, bro. Who is it? It's Terry McMorris. I think that's the right player to pick. He had the huge dunk. He played phenomenal defense on the McDonald's All-American all night, deed him up. And then down the stretch, he hits the big three, knocks down his free throws, and his team gets the dub at home. That's Terry right. McMorris, player of the game. Great victory by the Douglas Trojans. They should be extremely proud of their performance tonight. Keep tuned in to CBS Sports Radio 105.3 FM, HD1 going forward, and we'll let you know our next basketball broadcast It'll be a doozy, I promise you. Have a great weekend, Oklahoma. CBS Sports Radio 105.3 FM HD1. We'll see you next week.